Guys, Tonda is still held by the policemen in the border guard barracks. Whether they already know something about our organization and other plans, we can only guess, but I think they will get it out of him sooner or later. I hope you all know that there's no way back from here. Now things have to move and we have to break the border at all costs. Our contacts beyond the border are already waiting at the agreed place. But before that, we will pick Tonda up. I won't let those police bastards drag him away like they did with our father. The plan is simple. I'll try to distract the patrols and you'll break into the barracks. Then we will make use of the chaos and try to find and free Tonda. As soon as we manage to escape to the west, retreat and wait for the news from the other side. Let's go!
area clear. Area clear. Tondo, they got right fast. Half a Get out northwest. We're disappearing Car. to the Man. west. Four hundred meters southeast. Suddenly a truck appeared in front of us and gunmen jumped out of it. Fortunately, nobody fired in this tense situation. It was a motorized patrol of the US Army. They say they know about us and we should go with them. It was only later that we realized that all of this had been a skillfully prepared performance of the American CIA and its SOCOM, Special Operations Command. The point of meeting with SOCOM officers was at Lake Plant. They expressed their admiration for us and assured us about further support of our activities as planned. They additionally secured everything by their request for providing all the documentation from the assaulted barracks of the border guard, and probably also the secret station of the state police, SDB. Of course we agreed, and then their special squad immediately went to the border to secure this documentation and also to prepare the corridor for our return so that the communists thought we had fled to the west and stayed there. Meanwhile they loaded a truck for us with supplies of ammunition, weapons, equipment and food. Then, another group of armed men in civilian clothing arrived in another truck. They crossed the border together with us and they moved north to the ruins of the Rothstein Castle, where they pitched their main camp. Meanwhile our group increased by more volunteers from the Free Salient. I need to add, that all of them just waited for the signal to join us.